TikTok. It has come in under fire a few times recently. There were some security issues back in the day that they ended up fixing, and the new iOS is very secure, and I can't wait to move up to it because it's going to protect us even more. With that said, it has noticed TikTok was doing something. So when you're in TikTok, what it was doing is when you were typing, it was recording letters of what you were typing and sending it back to their systems. So let's go ahead and talk about this. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new like iPhone tips, tricks, tutorials, and just random stuff, do me a favor, smack that subscribe button. We are growing so fast and I'd love to have you along for the ride. TikTok. So TikTok has been huge with a lot of people lately and more and more security risks are happening. The most recent one was if you go into the app and you type, it is actually recording your keystrokes to the clipboard and sending it to their servers in China. TikTok is a China based company and there have always been a lot of talk about how safe it is and a lot of people worry about that. And now with these newest issue, it's just, yeah, people are wondering. So TikTok came back and said, this is for spam protection. We're trying to keep make sure people don't spam in the app and this allows us to monitor it. Meanwhile, they quickly, almost overnight, shipped an update to remove the feature. So the question is, if it was for spam, why are you removing it so quick? I mean, I guess the backlash of everyone was causing some problems. But there's so many privacy issues with this app that have come up lately that you're going to want to think twice before downloading it. If you're not going to use it, you shouldn't have it on here. I have it on here because I made a channel. I never made any videos, but being a YouTuber myself... I was like, you know, I want to save the name, maybe make some stuff. I don't know, but I, I just don't feel it's my platform. So I decided not to really use it, but I've had it on here and it's a security risk. So I need to get rid of it. So this is from a user on Reddit, basically saying all the issues. And you have someone here saying he reverse engineered the app. He said, at least a few months ago, who knows what changed. And he says, TikTok is a data collection service as thinly veiled as a social network. If there is an API to get information on you, your contacts or your device, well, they're using it. Wow. Phone hardware information, other apps you have installed, everything network related, everything on your, com on your Wi-Fi. Whether or not you've jailbroken your phone, some variants of the apps have GPS pinging enabled, which means they know where you are every 30 seconds. What? They set up a local proxy server on your device for transcoding media, but that can be observed very easily as it has zero authentication. They go on to say the scariest part of all of this is that much of the logging they're doing is remotely configurable. And unless you reverse every single one of these native libraries, have fun reading all of that assembly, assuming you can, and manually inspect every single function, they have several different protections in place to prevent you from reversing or debugging the app as well. App behavior changes slightly if they know you're trying to figure out what they're doing. Wow. There are also a few snippets of code of the Android version that allows for the downloading of a remote zip file, unzipping it and extracting it, that binary. There is zero reasons a mobile app would need this functionality. Basically, they're saying they can install things on your Android phone if you have an Android phone. Wow. Let's just continue going through this because uh, there's just a lot on here. Uh, they weren't using HTTPS for the longest time. That means your information was not safe because HTTP stands for Hypertext Transition Protocol and the S stands for security. So you want that S on there. Here's the things, though, they don't want you to know how much information they've been collecting on you. And the security 
implications of all of the data in one place in mass are huge. They encrypt all of the analytics requested with the algorithm that changes with every update. At least the key changes. Just so you can't see what they're doing. They also made it so you cannot use the app at all if you block communications to their an analytics host off of the DNS level. So basically it's saying they're looking at your phone. Every update they do, they change how they are looking at your phone just in case you catch on. And if you try to block what they're doing, it's not going to work. For what it's worth, I've reversed engineered the Instagram, Facebook, Reddit, and Twitter apps. They don't collect anywhere near the same amount of data that TikTok does. And they sure aren't outright trying to hide exactly what's being sent like TikTok is. It's like comparing a cup of water to the ocean. They just don't compare. Wow. So there you have it. TikTok is taking everything from you and they know everything. I believe you have to be using the app for them to do the majority of these things or at least have it open in the background. But to be honest, I think I'd rather be safe than sorry. And with that, let's just delete the app now. And it's gone. There you have it. Stay secure know what's going on with TikTok. I'll always bring you any updates when there's something this crazy going on with an app. Here are some other videos I know you'll enjoy. Thank you for the view.